First Alert 5 weather. I wanted to share this with you. Now that right there pegs the needle on the cute meter. I love that pup up on the porch. Probably wondering when the dog days of summer get here. Hang on, buddy. Right around the corner. Shout out to Beth for sending that to me. You know, I always encourage our viewers to send in their snow accumulations. And that, well, that's a foot of snow right there. Thanks to Trish for sending that picture to us. We've got low clouds and some patchy fog up on the hill right now. But you drive just a few miles to the south here in Rock Rim. And we've got crystal clear skies and a near full moon out there tonight. That moon officially full on Saturday night at 17 and it's cold with that light breeze. It feels like eight degrees. Live look from downtown Pueblo crystal clear skies. A bright night with that big moon out there. 23 with the chill. All right, let's wrap up last night's storm system. Very beneficial snow for our area. Good water content with the snow. Nice drink of water for the vegetation across our area. Always helping to mitigate that ever present fire danger. Some neighborhoods in the springs about 10 inches of snow, but good snows up and down the board right there. Even Monument, Woodland Park, and Black Forest, five inches of much needed snowfall. Big change around here tomorrow. It's going to heat up dramatically, especially compared to what we had today. Here's the reason why. It's a little surface trough out to the east of us. What that'll do is pull the air off the mountains. It'll be a westerly wind bringing in much warmer air, but the price to pay is that wind out of the west tomorrow gusts from 30 to occasionally 40 miles per hour. Hour by hour, blue sky sunshine for starters tomorrow morning, a cold start even by 11 a.m. 30s and 40s and it'll feel colder than that with the wind blowing during the afternoon transitioning into the 40s and even some 50s around here by uh, sunset tomorrow evening mostly clear skies up and down the I-25 corridor. Weak system headed our way over the weekend and it could actually bring a few more snow showers. Doesn't look like anything to lose any sleep over but I think by Saturday night into Sunday morning snow showers certainly possible across parts of the Pikes Peak region. This model has a bullseye right there across the wet mountains uh, southwest of Pueblo maybe three to four inches by midday on Sunday. Across the springs, it's not looking like a big deal. Maybe a half an inch of snow by late Sunday morning. We'll stay on top of that and give you updates over the next couple of days. Pueblo today, 39. There's your good news right there. 15 hundredths of an inch of water in Colorado Springs. We landed a little over two tenths of an inch of moisture when you melt the snow down. But of course, those areas that got to five to 10 inches of snow, much more water than that. And it was a cold day with that high of only 25 degrees outside right now. Some of the warm air down across the southern foothills. La Vida above freezing right now. Tonight we drop down to 14 in the springs, 15 degrees in Pueblo. Tomorrow much warmer around here. But again, keep in mind, those temperatures won't feel that warm with the wind blowing. It'll be uh, much colder with that breeze, so bundle up if you're sensitive to the chill. In Colorado Springs, here comes that disturbance late Saturday into Sunday. It'll be windy around here Saturday, then a few snow showers possible late Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday is the coldest day we'll have to deal with for at least the next seven days. Colorado weather is like a fine wine. It improves with time and look at that improvement Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You'll want to be outdoors with unusually warm air and sunshine. Pueblo, a little hiccup over the weekend with that next disturbance rolling in. Windy Saturday, clouds, colder Sunday, flurries off to your southwest over the hills. You'll give March a warm welcome. 63 is almost hard to comprehend after last night's snow and icy roads. And sometimes in March you get highs into the 70s in Pueblo. So that's something to look forward to. Canyon City, hang on to your hat. Gusty wind the next couple of days. You'll wrap up February with a chilly day on Sunday. Maybe a couple of snowflakes in some areas. Then hello March, hello warming trend. A nice mellow pattern change next week. Woodland Park, a few snow showers late Saturday into Sunday morning. Wouldn't be surprised to see maybe an inch accumulate. We'll stay on top of that and keep you updated. And then you get a pattern change to warmer, drier weather. Close to 50 degrees by the middle of next week. Elizabeth.